Hi my lovelies, welcome to another Pick a Card reading. This one we are looking at, so is this it then? Is it really over? Um, for those times when, yeah, you're, you're determined to wait to hear what they have to say and they don't come back to you and you just don't know. Um, or when you just don't know whether you should call, <laughs> just call it or not. So, um, I'm going to shuffle live, we'll go from the decks. Your options are, you've got a lovely bag of goldfish. A feather and the piggy bank. He is gorgeous. Okay, so you need to let you, let yourself choose, meditate on whatever way works for you, and let me know how you do it. By the way, I know how I do it, but other people have their different ways. But whichever pile resonates with you, that's the one that you choose. And the timestamps are down below. But before you move on, please hit the red subscribe button. Pretty please, you'd be doing me a massive favor. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of moments to meditate and then I will meet you at your piles. Pile wands with your, <laughs> with your koi carp, with your bag of beauty, with your bright colors, whatever it was that resonated with you and made you choose that particular. We're asking whether this, whether this uh, relationship is over, what's going on, annoyance, frustration, is that it, are we really done, especially if that's been a recurring cycle, is this the end now, is that all the cycles done or will they come back again, let's have a look, what's going on with this connection for you pile one people, is it really over? Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, this is a flame that burnt bright. You've got this Ace of Wands. Now, Aces of Wands, massive potential for a very passionate, very driven, very active relationship. But the problem with fires is they can burn out so quickly. Um, so quickly there's a lot of you know your worth and that you were not expecting this to burn out um that you were expecting long term and that this is not the way that you should be treated um and you are fully aware of that you are in your empress let me just uncover her so you are fully in your your empress power here um and then that's male or female, but the Empress is, she is luxury and she's comfort, but she is warmth and she is kindness and she is giving and she is nurturing and she is the Earth Mother, you know. Um, and if someone's just disappeared and you're not being made reassured and you're not being made to know that, that this is worth it and you are worth it and it's not just a flash in the pan, then Nine of Swords time, that's going to be really worrying for you and that is not the way that a relationship can continue. Um, if you've got a crossover here of the suggestion that maybe somebody got bored and ambled off and or, or is not interested, not interested, not able to keep that passion and that vim and that energy going because oh, it's been more than a couple of weeks or whatever, that the fire is dimmed for whatever reason, again, that's going to be too worrying for you. Either of these scenarios, this is too worrying for you to allow it to continue. Um, Nine of Swords is a very graphically painful card in a lot of sets. It is the hitting of the end of that cycle. It's that the worries are too much. This is taking up too much of your mind space. This is taking up too much of your emotional time. You did think it was worth investing in, but you're getting to this conclusion that no, it's really, really not. Um, so is this going to continue? I don't think so. I hope the flame burnt brightly while it while it lit and you are obviously capable of much much better and deserve much much better frankly um so yeah i mean if they have wandered off board then they are an idiot because they are not really lighting the fire it reads like you've given them chances and you've given it growth and you've given it life and they are not helping to feed the flames at all if anything their apathy is putting them out 
and you you're you're getting f frankly annoyed angry upset all those things i mean this is the how dare they kind of moment so wow i have just done a no on a relationship reading on one of my pick of cards i didn't i haven't i don't know that i've done many of those so yeah sorry but no probably not and um and you deserve to be righteously angry about that and honestly it doesn't really look like it's actually your fault um it does seem to be apathy and unwillingness to actually move emotions on, change with things, burn light fires, burn fire flames, you know, create new sparks. But you know that, that you create the spark again and again and again. It's, it's not like there's a constant flame that's always there. You know that you have to nurture it and you have to care for it. Um, but it's, it feels like it's one-sided. And maybe they don't realise that you have to and you can't teach people that. They have to learn it. Um, and I don't think they have. So that'd be a no, and I'm really sorry. And um, yeah, get righteously angry and scream into the universe that you deserve better because you do. But also walk away then, let the feel the feelings and move on because that sort of apathy isn't worth your time. Um, and you are an empress, no matter what gender, gender you are, you are an empress, you do deserve better. Okay, right, so I am really sorry about that, but I hope it helps. I hope it was just telling you exactly what you knew already. Um, please like, please subscribe, let me know what you thought underneath. This is a very quick spin through, but yeah, we'll go with it. Um, yes, my name's Louise Silvertree Tarot. Subscribe, like, that sort of thing. Thank you very much, and I will see you on another Pick a Pile. Hi, Tarot lovelies. Welcome to Pile 2 with your feather... There we go. I think it's a pigeon feather. <laughs> yeah, it's a pigeon feather. Um, okay, so we are looking at whether this is over or not, or what's going on. Um, yeah, you've been left not knowing what's going on, wondering if it's worth continuing, continuing wondering if this is, is for real. Um, actually, the end this time, is it just a straw? What's going on? Let's have a look, pile twos. So first off, I'm sorry you're going through this, bad times, but we all kind of get into these places occasionally. Um, you will get out of it again. So what's going on? Is it really over this time or is it really over? Is that it? Is it over? Ooh. Well, there's some anger here. Okay, all right, you've got really dark cards and you have got reason to be annoyed, haven't you? This is meaningful to you, this. The world. Um, this is an important situation to you. I mean, the last one, we, we had the idea of it being a, a flash of desire, a flash of um, yearning. This is important, though. You've got the world, but you've also got a wellspring of emotion to come and celebrations and beautiness and joy. So, even if it's the poison chalice from, sorry, this set always cracks me up. We'll go properly, we'll behave. Um, the world goes round in cycles. You're in a period of pause, you're in a period of downtime, you're in a period of, of rest. But the thing with periods of rest is that they come to an end and we get up and we start moving again. And I think that's where this is at. Um, it may be that one of you is ready to move and the other one isn't. But, but I always see the King of, of Wands as, as a loyal guy and a guy of action. Um, he is a king, so he is steadfast and he has got it together. It's possible that his direction and his action is quite hard to sway. But then we've got it faced with the Queen of Swords, whose direction and determination is well known. She takes no prisoners. So we've got two characters who are quite possibly trying to move in opposite ways who would normally be moving together. And I think you're just going around in this cycle of, yeah, but I want to do this and you want to do that. And mm, there's a tension between that. And that's going to come back together again into remembering that actually you really like one another and it's OK if they go off and do this and then come back. Um, so long as when it's important, you're working together as a team. Um, so is this over? No, absolutely not. The best is yet to come, if anything. 
um, it's meaningful. You've hit a point. Maybe you've hit a point of release where you've realized you both need your own friends or one of you's realized you need your own friends. Um, and to be a couple, you, you have your friends, he has them friends, and then you function in a group with all the friends. Um, sometimes some of that is needed within relationships, but very certainly that rest, that break, that pause is not over yet. You two have got a lot between you um, and a lot going on here. So no, and you go in cycles. So these are general readings. Um, if this world is a cycle and a cycle and a cycle and you're just doing round in cycles, you may want to consider whether you really want to keep going around in circles and how you can make it just stay solid. Um, and you may want to look at how the interaction between the two of you um, at the moment is a bit fire and ice going on to keep up the Game of Thrones <laughs> references. Um, you've, you've got fire, you've got air that can create explosions. You need to figure out working together again. Um, but yeah, this is this is not over. There is more to work for, and I, I think you'll find that that's just going to work itself out with a little bit of time and maybe a little bit of rest. But no, it's it's not over. That's not over yet. Um, try not to be well. To be inc be inc that's a lie. Be incredibly honest and very very point blank about things. Um, try not to let your temper get control. So it's it's rule with the head, not the heart brain passions okay that's the good this is what's blocking so yeah um if you're very very annoyed with them wait until you're not so annoyed in order to have a conversation um and and try to just make sure they understand that you are being authentic and you are being honest and you are being straight with them but but yeah there's a lot of love here that yeah i think the best is yet to come for this one to be honest um so yeah it's not over no it's not over Okay, thank you so much. Um, please subscribe, please like, all that sort of thing. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to speed on to pile threes, uh, but I will see you again on another Pick a Card reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, hi, lovely pile three people. With your, <laughs> with your incredibly tiny, I think you can get like three pound in there because we tried. You're incredibly tiny. Um, money. Money bank, good grief. Piggy bank, money bank, that's the one. I was going money piggy, doesn't work. All right, so we're asking, is your connection over? Is this relationship over? What's the score, man? Are we done? Was that it? Is it finished now? Why aren't you telling me? Um, oh, guys. Wow, okay. Hmm. All right. Sorry, I think somebody needed me to take this a little more seriously. Okay. Okay, let's have a look pull this back in there we go all right all right so you are very smooth okay all right sorry the last one made me a bit hyper we are asking for the pile threes is this connection over there's a complete energy shift between the last two piles okay Have a look. Is this connection over? Okay. Um, oh, it always freaks me a little bit when that happens. I very purposefully put my cards the right way up so that I don't do reversals, which means that when they come out, I take them seriously. Um, Okay, so th there's a problem with being able to plan a future. It's like you can't plan a future with this person and that is killing things. You've been investing time, you've been trying to grow it, you've been investing money and it's like no matter what you say, um, nothing grows, nothing changes. I mean, I, I hope this isn't the case, but it, it can often be third party relationships when someone is with someone else and you're waiting for that person to leave someone else and they're just not that sort of feeling. Um, so we'll be, be together, we'll move in together when I get my promotion and the promotion doesn't happen and you're going, I just want to move in with you. That sort of feeling, it's like there's no progress, like it's not happening, like the change isn't occurring. 
this is all about investing and creating in the physical world. This is all about planning and getting ideas together in order to put them in action. This is about change happening after a time, which is the block, it's the change isn't happening. But it's really comfortable like this. And you're actually okay, because they're sort of there, but they're sort of not. And you're actually all right without them. And yeah. Um, you need to find uh, the love again, the reason why you're there. Um, empathy and kindness to yourself and them is what's being suggested. The Knight of Cups is, is that knight in shining armour, by the way. He's very chivalrous. He's very loving. He's, he's likely to bring you roses. You know, the page would be writing poetry about you and daydreaming about you. The, the knight will bring you the chocolates and the roses and he will look after when you're sick and he will see um, occasions as means of looking after you. And that's a really beautiful ideal um, that you're moving towards. And I think it's because you're all right. You're all right by yourself. So there's no, you don't need them. It, this isn't codependency. You're looking at it and going, well, I, I don't need them, but I quite like them. And you want that future with them. You want to build that future with them. And this is quite nice and quite comfortable. Yeah, this isn't over. This is about to step into a different realm. One of mutual love, mutual care, mutual support. It's, yeah, it's like early days. There's a whole pile of don't rush it in one way. But also, what is the rush? If you can enjoy the romance, um, and you can understand why the barriers are up, whether they are financial barriers or somebody's got an emotional barrier and they don't really want to move in with someone just yet because the last time I did that it was horrid and I'm not sure I'm made for this sort of thing. Work through the barriers. Um, the, the lack of inaction, this very card su suggests action after a pause, action after a build-up, action after momentum has created an unstoppable force and that things will happen all at once. It may be that this is you wanting to move more quickly than the other person. And at which point, if you can get yourself back into a loving, caring head frame, then it's, it becomes important why you would be pushing this on them if they don't want it. Are you making them uncomfortable? You don't want to do that. You love them. So, yeah, this is not over. This is not over. This is about um, the beginnings, the moving on, the things changing and changing into what? And this looks like it's changing into something really quite lovely, to be honest. So this is a no. It's not over. Um, it's really not over. Romance is to come, mutual care is to concern, come, as ever, talk through your issues. I'm going to say again, if it's a really horrible guy and you know it's a really horrible guy and he's been really horrible to you, please just leave him. Don't base, only take what resonates um, and don't force it, you know, don't force it into. But if it's but if, if, if everything in this fits, then I think you're going to find that there's an awful lot of care, love, romance, giving, kindness, beautiful things. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can do it. You haven't wasted the investment. You're actually quite good as you are. You don't really need change now. You just need to know that it's possible in the future. Uh, maybe, maybe get them to arrange some plans with you. And sort of go, okay, like by next year, do you think we will? Something like that. And then you can find that middle ground and everybody's caring for everyone and it's actually really lovely. Because I think, I think that's where you're going anyways. Um, yeah. This isn't over. This is not over. Yeah. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, there, okay, and for, for okay, so yeah, thanks. 
Okay, for people who... Sorry. For people who have had no contact for weeks or for months, you need to go to the, um, the first pile. But also just, if they're not in contact with you, they don't have enough regard for you, screw them. You know, just shut the door. Um, if you are watching through them, hoping to find the one that, that makes you believe that a guy that's not coming back is not coming back, you need to look at, is coming back, you need to look at why. Um, because if they haven't contacted you for days, weeks, months, they're probably not going to, and even if they do, you deserve much better than that in your life. And you kind of know that, but they've got you hooked in some way. You've convinced themselves like Twin Flame or some other such. Not helpful. So yeah, I'm just going to put that caveat in there, just in case, for some reason. Um, but yeah, okay. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that helped. Um, big hug to Pile Threes. Um, you you are you, you are better than you know you are. <laughs> That's all I can say. You you're doing a lot better than you think you are. Um, yeah, I am. Um, I'm Louise Silver Tree Tarot, all that sort of thing. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out my Etsy store. All the rest of it. There are links and websites and whatnot in the description box. But lovely to have um, read for you. And hopefully I will see you on another pick a card uh, reading. So thank you so much. <laughs>